Well, it's Sunday, October 9th afternoon, and uh, Ryan and I are down at the River Bottom Farm. This is my third, uh, third hunt of the year. We're still riding pretty high off of our first sit, which was last Thursday on October 6th. I put down a great buck. Uh, have never done that before. One hour into my season, have one of, uh, one of the deer I want to catch up with walk in front of us. Gavin's building that hunt right now, and uh, by the time you guys are watching this, you probably will have already seen that hunt. Uh, pretty awesome buck and awesome experience for us. Last night, we slipped out to the south plot and hunted a little green food source and had a pretty slow hunt. We had a few does come out, but didn't get anything in range. We could see this spot from where we were. We got this redneck set up on the edge of the corn here, and uh, there were quite a few does in front of the blind last night, so had to get some work done today. Didn't wasn't able to get out of here super early. It's a little bit warmer today too, so I figured that you're going to move a little bit later. But we do still have a west wind, and it's reasonable for early October. So um, we're set up in the blind and hoping to get a few does down. Over the last years, or really since owning this property, uh, we've not done a great job with doe harvest just because the county limits how many doe tags it has and they always run out opening day of sales so each by a handful but for the number of acres and the number of deer we really need to do a better job taking does out of here and so i was excited to find out that the neighboring farmer qualified and got issued some depredation tags and here in iowa if your land touches that farmer's land you can use those depredation tags so ryan and i have a goal of shooting 20 I'm hoping even to get more, but we're gonna set our goal at 20. And uh, since we already got a great buck down, we're gonna be focused primarily on shooting does. I don't wanna let any does uh, walk by, at least for not the next couple of weeks. My primary target out here and for the rest of the season is gonna be this buck we call Kelsey that I've been talking about. Um, he's a six and a half year old, got four years of history with him. And he's gonna be one that I focus on for the rest of the year. So you never know, I mean, he's certainly in the area. He's been very active on the farm. He could pop out right here, but um, I'm not necessarily expecting that. So we're gonna try to harvest some does before we get into the pre-rut and rut. We're gonna just get quiet and enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. 
too look like a good shot. And uh, we should probably have the windows closed up a little more. These deer are really close to us. We have them just three or four yards outside of the blind. We ended up having three adult does in here, three fawns, and one one and a half year old buck. And I had the biggest doe come in. She just wouldn't. She kept. She was facing me or quartering to me for so long. And then the other adult doe just wouldn't quite get in the window. They all kind of spooked. But thankfully, one of them finally got out in front where I could make a shot. Looks like a good shot. She ran. She shouldn't be too far from the first one. So it's 6:45. We have maybe 15 minutes left. Well, overall fun night in the redneck blind. Uh, two does to go recover, so we're going to hop out and get these arrows picked up and pick up the blood trail. One of them I saw fall over, and the other one looked like she ran a little bit further past the first one into that grass. So we're going to get down and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't just stab myself. My reaction. 